This is going to talk about functions. We're going to describe functions in four different ways. We're going to identify if it's linear or nonlinear, and then we're also going to identify if it's proportional or non-proportional through graphs and equations. Here's some definitions. A function is linear in two ways. It has to make a straight line, and the equation has to be written in the form of y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to underline that, or I'm going to highlight it for you so those stand out. It has to make a line, um, and it has to be written in the form, if the equation um, is written for you, it has to be y equals mx plus b. Then a function could be proportional only for one thing. It has to pass through the origin at 0, 0. Um, if a graph is not linear, which is the last sentence, um, that's really simple. It just doesn't make a straight line. Um, I'm going to go up here and add this. I said it, but it didn't. It wasn't printed. The line has to be straight. So then on this one, if it's nonlinear, it um, would have some kind of curve or a bend in the line. Here's some examples using equations, just like before. If the equation is linear, it could be written in either one of these two ways. You'll notice that um, it has something, a coefficient or a number with the variable x, and then it also has something either being added or subtracted at the end on those two. The second thing listed on here is a graph is per, or an equation is proportional. Um, the way you tell if it's proportional is there's nothing left out here. There's no extra adding or subtracting. So I'm going to put that. This means it crosses through 0, 0. Or the y-intercept is 0, 0. The y-intercept is 0. Then this last one is identifying if something is not proportional for an equation. And the way it's not proportional is because it has this extra value that's being added or subtracted. Or if you identify this part, it doesn't say y equals. I'm going to put that not y equals. And then this one... Um, 4 is the y-intercept, so it's not 0. And for it to be proportional, it has to pass through the origin. Okay, on this example, we're going to take an equation, and then we're just going to put in some values. We're going to find the y output and use the coordinates and then make our own graph. By looking at the equation up here, y equals x plus 4, I already know two things. I already know that it's linear because it's written in the form of y equals mx plus b. And I already know that it's not proportional. And I know that it's not proportional because it says that 4 is the y-intercept. So when you're making your graph later, we'll know for sure that we've made a graph that is straight and that doesn't pass through 0, 0. Okay, as I work through these, these are going to be my x values. I'm going to solve the equation which says whatever number you pick for x, just add 4 to it. And then you have your outputs and we'll go put the dots on the graph. The, the first one's already been done, negative 2 plus 4, that would be positive 2, so my output is positive 2. I'm going to come over on my graph and do negative 2, positive 2, and that would be right here. My second line 
says 0 for my x value, so I would say 0 plus 4 is 4. That means my y value is 4 and my coordinates would be 0, 4. So now this is my y-intercept when I do it in my table. Um, 0, 4. The next one says 2 plus 4 is 6. My y value is 6 and my coordinates would be 2, 6. Graph that. Then the next row would say 6 plus 4 is 10. The y value is 10 and the coordinates would be 6, 10. Da, 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 da. And you might want to watch because this doesn't continue to just increase by twos. They've skipped it and now it says six. So when you're doing your graph, don't automatically assume that the dot should be right there because it did skip. The last row is an eight for the x value. So eight plus four is 12. The y value or output is 12. And then my coordinates would be um, eight, 12. And then right there. If I wanted to connect these dots, I could. The path would be something like that. And there you go. This last question just asks you, um, it says identify or describe the functions that have been listed. Um, right if it's linear or proportional or nonlinear. We have a graph to look at, an equation to look at, and another graph to look at. I can see that this first one, um, it makes a straight line, so it is linear. And then if I have to look about proportional, I can just look and see if it passes through the origin. And there's my origin, and it does. So this would be labeled also as proportional. When you take a look at the second graph, this one is nonlinear because it has um, a bend or a curve. I guess I could put non, not not. Because it's supposed to say non. Non-linear. Because it makes this curving pattern. And then if I try to identify. Um, it does pass through the origin. So I could say proportional. That's the only criteria for um, proportional. Is that it passes through the origin. When I take a look at this equation, it needs to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. And it does. So I would say that this is linear. And then um, you need to look and see if the y-intercept is 0. This one is not. The y-intercept is positive 5, so this would be um, not proportional. And that's going to be because the y-intercept is not 0. So I'll put that on there. y-intercept is not zero. Okay, again, I just want to review this for you. A function is linear if it makes a straight line, and the equation can be written in y equals mx plus b form. A function, a linear function, is proportional if it passes through zero, zero, and that's the only criteria for that one. So I want to make sure that we hit that again. It's important. And then the last thing, if um, the graph is not a line, if it doesn't make a straight line, then you would just identify it as nonlinear. If it makes a curve or a bend, nonlinear.